Let's make Tony feel really welcome. It's just so nice to see. I see that wonderful smile in front of me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Tony Popovic. Please, ladies and gentlemen. Tony's coaching career commenced as the assistant coach of Sydney FC in the Hyundai A-League. He then went and headed coach of English Championship Club Crystal Palace prior to accepting his current position as head coach of the Western Sydney Wanderers. It is a real pleasure to have you here again in the family of the hills. It really is. I've got quite a few questions to ask you, Tony. I was very fortunate to meet Tony a couple of times and one thing I notice about you and while I've got a script here is you always make yourself available and I think about that quality, I'm saying this as a statement, why your men in particular respond to you. You somehow in your busy life find time and if that's not a take out for us as business people then I don't know what is and I watched you eagerly, I'm a great observer of human behaviour, you always have time for people, is that a good quality? Uh, firstly, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, look, it's a, it is, it's an important quality to have and, um, you know, I'm very happy to be back here again. Uh, it seems like yesterday, but uh, a year ago um, I, was, I was at the, uh, the same breakfast uh, for this same reason. And, uh, look, it's important, I think, um, you know, as a leader of, of a group, uh, as many of you would know here, that, you know, you have uh, respect uh, of your workers, of your peers, and you lead by example. So whatever I ask of the playing group, um, you know, I'm the first to, uh, I'm the, I'm the harsh, hardest critic of myself, and if I ask something of the players, I must lead from the front. So that's uh, pretty much how we, how we do it in a basic term at the club. Uh, we try and lead by example, whether that's from the chairman or whether that's from John Tatsimus, um, you know, we try and lead the way and then um, the group follows and if they don't follow, well then they're left behind but uh, that's a standard that we have. And, and again, to, to, to uh, give meaning to what you're saying, I was very fortunate to go to the HMS Parramatta yesterday and Lyle was there and to see him there, like he's a big man, he's got presence and he shows strong leadership. So what you're saying also covers across that key executive people that you have in that fold. It was uh, really remarkable to see him there by himself having a real presence of leadership. Yeah, of course, as I said, um, uh, it starts from the chairman, from the top, uh, and John, who, who's here with me today. We had a, when we got together at the club, we had a vision uh, where we wanted the club to be short-term, medium and long-term. And it was very important for us that as a club we're, we're respected within the community. Uh, that everyone in the West is proud of this football club and they all feel a part of it. Uh, that was first and foremost and that was uh, something big that the chairman wanted to follow through with and, and also John. And as a playing group, uh, we've continued on with that. You know, we, we, we're proud of the fact that our fans feel a part of the team. They, they, we feel as one. Mm. And they come to our stadium and, and they feel that they can connect with the players. The players feel the same way in return. And, you know, we, we have very high standards to maintain that. And, uh, you know, we want to be the best in every department. Uh, that's on the field, of course, but also off the field as we conduct ourselves as a business. And again, they're very strong drivers. Tony, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with your comments because those things, not only on the field, are off the field. And there's a really big push by you to make sure that your members become educated, John become part of the community. I commend you for that. Is that a strategy that you take seriously? Yeah, seriously, uh, certainly. And uh, from the outset, that's been a, a key strategy for, for our football club. And, you know, we demand a lot from everyone at our club, uh, whether that's in administration or whether that's uh, on the field with the players, that a certain standard is, is reached daily. And, and the leaders need to um, be at the forefront of that. And... Uh, you know, we, we want to be known for the best club, uh, not just the best team on the field. We want to be the best club in Australia. Now, we're not there yet. We're, we've still got a long way to go. Uh, we're making inroads, small steps. Um, we have a vision. We have a long-term vision where we want to get to. But uh, one step at a time, um, we're slowly getting there. And, uh, you know, in, in three to five years, we, we want to be a, 
a club that's uh, the best in every department. That's fantastic. Let me just touch on those points again. You're not quite there yet. Where's there? What are the things that you're going to try and improve this year? What, what are those key things that are really at the forefront? I mean, the, last year was a fairy tale. You can, you can go better than last year? Yeah, we can. We can. Of course we can. We, um, you know, it's easy to get complacent uh, when you get to the top. And for us, the key was in the off-season to, to maintain that. How do, how do we stay at the top? Um, and we, we have a strategy this year key point around the club is to be better, to improve. And whether that's from the chairman, whether that's from John, uh, myself as a coach, um, you know, I can only speak for myself here now, you know, at the end of the season, the whole coaching staff um, went overseas to try and improve, to see where we can get better. And that was straight after the grand final, you know. Uh, John's constantly going to conferences, seminars, the chairman is, uh, our marketing department, commercial department, you know, we're all looking to see how we can get better. Because once you stand still, then all of a sudden you realise you're back in the pack and we don't want to be in the pack. That's fantastic. And your commitment, you're very vocal and strong about those qualities and, and that's such a... I have a great admiration for that because there's an old saying, if you don't know where you're going, you won't get there. So what you're saying is you're very strong about having a collective about everyone knowing where that team's going. Yeah, exactly. I think if you asked anyone at our football club uh, which direction we're heading and, and what we expect and demand of each other, mm. uh, every single person in every department would know where we want to be, where we are now, and uh, the short-term goal, medium and long-term. Uh, everyone would know that. Well, we hope that 2013, 2014 is number one. A lot of us uh, admire you and, and love uh, our football, as it's correctly called. What do you think will get you there this year, as distinct from last year? I just touched on it earlier. We, we need to be better. We need to improve. And if we improve and get better as a whole, as, as a collective, uh, we have a great chance to uh, be at the top once more. We were, we were the best team in the league. Um, that's a fact. Uh, unfortunately, we, we, we fell at the, in the grand final in that one-off game, and uh, we'll do everything we can to get another opportunity to play in that grand final. Let me ask you about David Gallup. He's a very interesting person. I, I know him reasonably well. The marquee players that have come this year, you were talking about that last night on TV, it made me think about asking you that question. Are you excited about those players? Yeah, of course we are. We, you know, the marquee players are still uh, a key factor in our league. It's a very young league and we still need those big names uh, to come to Australia. But I think we've gone past just names now. We, we actually need the quality on the park. Mm -hmm. uh, when we started out, I think uh, the A-League would just have been happy with any name that could get some uh, coverage in the papers or on TV. But I think now the Australian public is actually demands a performance as well. So th these players are great names, but they've been performing on the field. And, you know, it's, 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 it's a credit to the league. It's a, it, we're we're honoured to have someone like Shinji Ono at our football club. Mm -hmm because we see what, what he does for the young players at, at our club. You know, he's, he's the most professional athlete that I know. The, the man's been to three World Cups, he's 34 years of age, and yet um, you know, he leads the way in terms of his preparation. And that can only benefit uh, all young Australian players. And uh, you know, there's so much a coach can say, but uh, the players in the dressing room and on the pitch really make a difference. And you know, we're, we're honoured to have him at our club. Two final questions and I'll open up to the floor. I'm really impressed with David Gallup's uh, overview of having free to wear. I think that's a brilliant strategy. Uh, how, uh, how did you think about, or what did you think about that when it came, came to the public? Oh, it's fantastic yeah. news. You know, we, I think everyone's been crying out for that. And I think it's just, I think the league's just growing. Uh, as I said earlier about our club, it's step by step. And uh, this was the next step that needed to be taken. And, you know, it's, it's great to have SBS on board and uh, it gives um, the people a great opportunity to see our code, to see our game on free to wear and uh, it can only enhance the reputation of football in this country. And I'll just read this question because it's an important one if I may, Tony. Even though ticket membership is now fully subscribed, which is amazing, what other ways can supporters and business, particularly here this morning, can get behind you and the Wanderers? 
or the Wanderers, because you are the Wanderers? Yeah, I think uh, events like today. This is this is a great initiative. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to uh, spread the word with small business. We appreciate uh, and understand uh, what people go through each day in, in trying to have a successful business. Um, you know, if they can't get out to the game, obviously they can see us on TV mm. and, and feel a part of us. They can come to the away games. They can come to corporate events. Um, so there, there is room for everyone in, in uh, as we call it, the Wanderers family. And uh, we're very open and uh, we'd welcome anyone in at any time.